Hey guys, so this is my Super Cub LP, and I've enjoyed flying it with the float so much that I just decided I wanted to expand the plane. So I went ahead and added ailerons on, and now it only took about, probably about 15 minutes of work, and then I had to wait overnight for my glue to dry. I use Gorilla Glue, which takes quite a while to dry. If I had used something like 5 minute foam safe CA, it could have been done in a half an hour. Um, but it's a pretty quick process. I'll show you guys what I did. As you can see here, I'm just going to move the ailerons. Work perfect. And I didn't do any specific, like, hard measuring on this. Um, pretty much all I did was I went to each wing here and there's a little circle of plastic here, you see that? This little circle of plastic here is what I used for lining up. I measured from the end of this plastic circle four inches and I made a dot and then I measured from this edge of this white plastic six inches and then I made a dot. So I made ten inch long ailerons. Same with this side, the dots in the same place. So I measured four inches out, put a dot, and then I measured six inches out and I put a dot. And then what I did is I measured one and three-fourths inches up and I put a dot and then I did that along and made a line sorry I cut the camera off there because uh, the doorbell rang just got my brushless motor in this box here to add to my uh, GWS slow stick so I should have the GWS slow stick built today also um, but showing the ailerons so what I was saying when I cut off the video there was I measured one and three-fourths inch up and drew a line across straight uh, so I could have a straight one and three-fourths inch ailerons the whole way. And then I did the same thing on the other edge. Just drew lines. As you can see, my line still is not the prettiest. Uh, I could have cut around the lines instead of leaving them there, but they work. And I'm not too concerned with the cosmetics of this plane. Uh, and then I just used a razor blade and sawed, basically, cut with a razor blade and just cut out these ailerons completely. All right. And then, the next thing I did was attach them back on. But first, you don't want your ailerons hitting on the side. See how there's a gap? So on each of the ailerons, I cut about a quarter, well not a quarter inch, like an eighth of an inch, probably off each side of the aileron, so that now when it moves up and down, there's a space, so it's not going to catch on anything. And the same with the other one. So, I mean, if you didn't cut off anything on each side, they would just fit back in perfectly and they'd be touching on each side. They wouldn't move up and down good. So that's why you cut them a little bit off the sides so they'll have space to move. And then, how I reattach them is, if you can see in here, see if it goes in focus. See that little line there, that orange? And then, this one's covered with glue, but there's one right there too. And then one more right there. See that orange? Let's go to the other side. See there's one there. It's glue. Hold on. And there's one right there. And then there's one right there. Now what those are is simply zip ties. And I cut the zip ties short about three-fourths of an inch uh, I used in each one and I dipped them in glue and then I stuck them into the plane uh, the main wing and then into the aileron and then the glue dried and now they're stuck on they're really good but the zip ties are plastic they're kind of bendy so it lets the aileron move freely but keeps it connected perfectly so that's a real cheap hinge you can use if you're looking for a hinge for an aileron or for anything zip ties work great so then on the bottom of the plane I use kind of crappy servos. I'm not even sure what they are. They came out of my Guan Li uh, uh, Catalina. But they're just micro servers, and I've got them taped and glued. They had some sticky tape, but I also put a drop of glue on the tape. So it's taped, but it's also got a drop of glue holding them on there, and they seem to be holding on just fine. And it's just stuck to the wing. That's it. And then I got this uh, control rod, and I didn't have a control linkage, so I just bent this rod. The other one I actually have a linkage on, I'll show you in a second. But I just uh, glued in that rod to the wing. 
uh, I mean this plastic part, the control arm, and then the rod connects to it and goes down to the servo. Real simple. And then this aileron plug goes back into the plane and I just have it taped there. I should have used clear tape but I ran out so I just put a piece of duct tape there. Probably change that later. But it's just holding the wire taut. Same thing on the other side. Servo's there. Now this servo I actually had a uh, I had one link left, or one one control link left, so this one has a real link on it instead of being bent. And it goes to the servo. So real easy to set up. They both go in, and they both connect to a Y harness, and then they go into the aileron plug. Now this used to be a three channel plane, so the aileron plug used to have the rudder plugged into it. But obviously all I did was I put the rudder in the rudder spot, which used to be empty on the receiver, and now the ailerons are going into the aileron spot. So, in about a half an hour, plus waiting for glue to dry, now I have ailerons. They center back perfectly, servos are working fine and they seem pretty fast. So, haven't flown it yet, but can't wait to try it now with the added control of the ailerons. So, get that up soon and let you guys see how much that helps this plane. Now it's still just a brushed motor, but with this plane the brushed motor has been fine. One day maybe I'll upgrade it to brushless, but really it's my only brushed plane right now. I don't have any other brushed planes, they're all brushless. So it's kind of nice just to have one different plane. It's kind of a slow flyer. You know, it's not meant for aerobatics. I have aerobatic planes, so probably just leave the brushed motor in this as long as it works. And uh, there's the Super Cub with ailerons. <laughs>